Here we go, here we go now. Yeah. What type of vibe are you trying to create up in there, hey, bro? Hey, supersize me, Don. <laughs> <laughs> What is going down, world? Welcome to the 40-year-old FUQ Boys podcast. Bro, don't sing at me, man. Hey, hey. I'm trying to create that vibe in here that is a little sus. You feeling Can a little zesty? Can we just listen to one of my favorite songs Are of all time? Are you feeling zesty? No. Can you say your name? You don't even give a F anymore. You know who it is? It's Don. Don Wannabe. You know what I mean? Back in the house once again. All right, you guys. Um, So, Chinchilla has been on the UK voice mm -hmm. and she snapped, bro. I did a reaction. I was like, bro, crazy. Her voice is insanity. Yes. So I wanted to take a trip, man. Take a trip back to her busking with Ren. This is on her channel. You know, what's funny is uh, a lot of the busking videos on Ren's channels, crit millions of views. This one only has like 200,000 views. So oh. I was like, yo, this is the perfect thing to cover. And I cannot lie. This is one of my favorite songs. This is one of the songs I put on the mixtape for the shorty. You like, you know what I mean? You like, hey girl, I was thinking of you. You give her the mixtape. Got some key sweat. Got some Marvin Gaye. People you know, don't know. Got they don't some even temptations. Know. Got some uh, who else? You know what's crazy though? Some of these songs, I was like, damn, how blue pilled can you be? Like, there's this song by Tank called "I Deserve," and the dude's basically saying, "I deserve for you to cheat on me and do the works." Because of this, that, and the other. I'm like, bro, calm down. But it, Yeah, it, that's it a wasn't. song that you write after you've been caught cheating like 10 times, though. That's what I deserve, man. It's like, girl, no, I really do love you. You know, uh, Sally and uh, Jesse and, you know. Uh, Anyways, I Rebecca, just. Those, I re those girls didn't mean anything, girl. I was You're like, the one. I remembered having that on a mixtape for a short day. I was like, this song's fire. Now I listen to them. I'm like, bro, I was wilding, bro. Never. Anyways. You guys, don't listen to us old men. Listen to your gut instinct and your intuition. Hopefully it serves you properly. Like, share, comment, subscribe. 40! 40 year old boys are back in town. 40! 40 year old boys are back in town. 40 year old boys are back in town. The boys are back in town. 40 year old FUQ Boys Podcast. Malt liquor for your ears. All right, you guys, don't forget to support the original content on the channel. Um, I'm dr I, Yeah, I just dropped Ugly Boys. I'm going to put the link in the description. So, yo, you guys got to check it out, featuring Anthony Ray. And also, we did a pho challenge. Who could eat the most Vietnamese pho and a beef plate and a this and a that? And it was crazy. Who do you think won? Who do you think has a better digestive system? <laughs> yo, tap in. Um, support the original content so we can keep producing it. We're about to get into this, you guys. This is Chinchilla and Ren, Sexual Healing. Yo, speaking of songs, bro, I was listening to the Righteous Brothers the other day. And, bro, the dating marketplace, if you listen to some of these brothers' advice, you are going to get steamrolled in today's market. Oh, for sure. They're just bananas. And I love it because I'm a hopeless romantic, but I realize you can't really be a hopeless romantic in today's dating market. Well, that's depressing. It's, but is it true? I'm not in the market. Is it true or not? Bro, it's tough. It's tough because if I'm being real, it's like women will say that they, this is how I feel. I feel like they will tell you that they want all these certain things. I want a man that, you know, is open and shares his emotions, but then you do that and then they lose respect. You know what I mean? It's Message. Like, you know, or, or, you know, you give them everything that they want and then they look at you as a pushover. Yeah. And it's like, I'm not a pushover. I'm just trying to be romantic and try to give you what you asked for. He's single ladies. You know what I mean? He's single. I'm just saying, man, I hope that WAP is out there for you, man. I hope you find it. I hope you find some beautiful WAP, man, and get dimed up. The hopeless romantic. I hope you find some WAP. <laughs> hey, you know what I mean? Is that all there is to a woman for you? Is just WAP? Is that is that all a woman not. has to offer? Of course not. There's WAP. You know what I mean? There's, there's not there's, there's not sandwiches. intelligence. There's yeah. I mean WAP sandwiches. You know, home cooked meals. You know, companionship. Uh, back massages. <laughs> Your better half. <sighs> there's a lot, man. To your significant other but anyways let's get it man one of my favorite songs s healing you know lay it on them real thick let's go 
She came out swinging too, bro. I know. I was like, I was like, calm down, chinchilla. some girls across the street they were scared to get close they were like yo the energy that he's they're putting out over there i might get pregnant if i get too close <laughs> <laughs> you know what i mean you said within five feet you're getting knocked up yeah he was putting that out those, energy uh, he was putting out that six six nine g instead of five g six <laughs> yeah six nine g yeah nice energy i was tripping because i'm like what happened to her nails Oh yeah, that's her like one of her trademarks. She, she yeah. got them in this, and it reminded me of this time where I was, you know, engaging in some sexual healing, mm. and this girl started scratching my mm. back. You ever have a woman scratch your back mm -hmm. so hard? I'm not gonna lie, I got angry mm -hmm. because yeah. literally, you know, and you don't want to act like a bi, mm. so I wasn't about to be like, damn girl. So I all I could do in the moment is just growl like. <laughs> She just kept digging and dude, my back was like literally like bleeding, like running down with blood. And I had this the other thing that messed me up in the game is I had this other shorty that I was dealing with. Now, you know, I, I let it be known. I've always just been open and honest. I was like, you know, I'm out there like doing my thing. But no girl wants to see tiger claw marks on your back. This so that made for an awkward conversation. That's why he's you know? single, you guys. Because <laughs> he couldn't take it. No. <laughs> exactly. Because I'm a biatch. Yo. I couldn't take the cougar claws. You know what's funny, man? Like, I can't lie. I'm going to just tell the truth, man. I'll just keep it right. She been Freddy Krueger my ass, man. I've been in some situations similar. Never blood on the back, but it's just like, I came out looking like, damn, was I picking cotton? You know? I'm like, bro, come on now. <laughs> but what you I got lashed. What I will say is I remember this one time, and this is way deep in my past. Um, you know, I don't like prying in my past too much because I don't want to be disrespectful to my my wifey, but it's just the truth. I remember this broad was into some kink stuff, you know. And one of the things was like excessive biting stuff. And I remember she bit my lip and the shit started bleeding. I was, I'll, bro, I got pissed, pissed. Yes. I was like, bro, what are you doing? This is not, a, to me, it's not a turn on. You yeah. Know? You know, I guess they, you know, they're thinking, like, oh, but oh. I was like, yo, that, yo, you know what I mean? Yeah, it was hard for me to keep my composure. I was like, this is not fun. Yeah. Like, literally, like, tore the skin off my back. Yeah, and it's like, I guess some dudes get turned on by this type of thing, but I'm like, yo, I, I'm about to turn into the lead singer. I'm not biscuit. trying to fight in the bed. Yeah, yeah, me You know either. what I mean? It's supposed to I'm, feel good. Yeah, but to me. I'm sexual chocolate, baby. Yeah, you know oh, what I mean? Hey, you see these you freckles? I mean? Freckle God. You know what I mean? Okay, oh, since we're anyways. going down this pathway of, of naughty stories, I'm going to tell probably the Another story? <laughs> God dang, this MF effort. He's single, ladies. Should I, should I shut it up? Uh, ladies, 
if you want some of these stories in person, DM him, even though he never checks his DMs. Yeah. If you're a lady, you know, I might, I might check the DMs, you know? All right, we could just go. I'll save it for another time. Well, I mean, we still got the end of the reaction <laughs> for some more Don stories. This should be a live stream because they'd be like, Don, Don, Don. <laughs> They'll just egg Don. your ass on. They always right. egg you on. They do. All right, here we go. Oh, baby, Joseph Flax, bro. Yeah. Check out the baby. homie. We did an interview with him on the channel, man. He out there really covering this, getting photos. That's fly. All right, let's keep it moving. Yo, this is a vibe, bro. They're killing it. They are so good at busking. Sheesh. So much. <laughs> <laughs> so disco, man. Bro. Ignant. Ignant. They absolutely killed it. It's cool too because the one of the uh, the favorite things about watching these busking experiences with good buskers is that uh they take it to their own dimension, right? Like yeah. it, it sounds like it's like when Ren, Ren wasn't trying to emulate Marvin Gaye, he was doing a little bit of scatting. And also, like, I don't know if, like, there might be por- points where you're like, hey, I might not be able to hit this note, but I can hit it in this way. Like, I don't know if that's why that's being done, but they take it to their own world, and I enjoy that. It just makes it a different experience. So, Yeah, I mean, that's the, to me, is, you know, when you take a cover song, sometimes people will try to emulate that yeah. and just try to do, like, you know, almost copy it. Yeah. But to me, some of the most interesting ones are when you take it and you make it your own and put your own personality. And like you said, sometimes the limit limitations are going to be like, I can't hit these notes, but rather than that being a limiting factor, it could be a creative way for you to do something different, original, give it a new, you know, kind of life. Big facts. All right, you guys, uh, that was chinchilla and Ren, sexual healing, Marvin Gaye cover. Um, what did we get? What did we miss? Um, do you guys want to hear another story from Don before you leave? <laughs> All right, I'll make before it quick. Before the dawn of time. <laughs> <laughs> so I was thinking about craziest sexual healing moments. Okay. So, you know, I had a, a special young lady, you know, blessing me with some sloppy top. And I'm like, blessing you know, I, I hit that, you know, that, that climactic moment. And I'm like, here you are. I gift thee your welcome. I gift you and this <laughs> milkshake. And I look down and she's got this surprised look on her face. And I'm like, are you okay? Like I've never seen a girl make that face. You know what I mean? They might make other faces, but not that face. And she just has a surprised look and she goes, oh my God. And then she stands up 
and farmer's blows. <laughs> Uh, my expulsions out of her nose. I literally, <laughs> you know what I mean? Snipered her down right up the nostril. This dude's a human neti pot. <laughs> the neti pot, yo. You know what the I'm talking about? Pot. Yeah, exactly. uh, yeah. The neti pot. Exactly. Yeah. The nutty pot. The neti pot. So, bro, you're disgusting. Anyhow, you know, I gifted her with that uh, snot rocket. And this is why little... he's single, ladies. When you guys get on the challenge, Holler like, at why me. is Don single? That's why, you guys. So if that's the type of love triangles you like to be in, go ahead, uh, holler at your holler at your dog. <laughs> Yo. Oh, geez. All right, you guys. There's another one for you. 40. <laughs> Thank you for being some man. 40 years down the road back again. F you cute boy.